Hello, 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 hello. Good afternoon, beautiful ladies. Good afternoon, women of substance. Good afternoon, mother of nations. I know the only person that will click to watch this particular video. Oh, okay. I know, okay, some men may want to watch to go tell their, um, their wives, their sisters, colleagues, and all that. Oh, this is what I have heard. So I shouldn't limit it like it's only women that are going to watch this video. Today, I come with one very important and powerful remedy. As a woman, when you are pregnant, you're supposed to be taken. Now, this is not for you to replace um, your medical advice. This is not for you to replace your routine, medical routines, when you're pregnant. But I want to tell you one very effective um, natural remedy, or do I call it how you can use when you are pregnant, when to use it and when not to use it. You understand? It's a very harmless herb. In the, this is a very good and popular soup in the western part of my country, Nigeria. If you are from my country, Nigeria, the western parts, they love this soup. If you visit a westerner and you're not entertained with this soup, please, when you leave, don't come back again. That means you're not welcomed. Now, I want to call and uh, tell us Okay, this is the leaf I am talking about. I'm going to tell us how you can use it when you are pregnant, when to use it, and the two methods that it's been used. And we have lots and lots and lots of um, positive recommendation of this herb. This herb is known as um, jute, jute leaf. It's known as jute leaf in English. So I went as far as trying to get its other names in other tribes. Sorry, if you're from my country, Nigeria, the Igbos call it um, Ahimbara, Ahimbara. The Hausas call it Rama. The Yorubas call it Ewedu. Okay, in English, it's known as it's known as um, jute leaf. The Ghanaians call it Ayoyo. The Ghanaians call it Ayoyo. So. What and what are the methods or ways you can use this um, particular leaf when you are pregnant and when to use it? You know, right from the time of um, our great-grandparents, all they have relied on is herbs. Yes, all they relied on is herbs. And by the grace of God, it went well for them. So we, this generation now, we are trying to pick up the use of these herbs because they are very important. The importance of a herb is for you knowing how to use it, the best way to use it to get a positive result. So, when you are if when you are pregnant, please, do not use this when you are one month, two months, three months, four months, five months pregnant. No, it's not advisable at those um, stage of pregnancy. Now, this is believed to make them um, labor fast you understand by the grace of god to make labor fast that is to say not to prolong them um, labor uh, labor pain and process and all that you know some women stay in the uh, in the delivery room in the delivery room they stay in there for like 24 hours they are still in pain and all that but if you are, let's say, going to nine months. The two ways you can take this um, leaf is, the number one way is, you removing the leaf. Please wash it very well. And remember during pregnancy, you have to take your hygiene very, very diligent. Wash it very, very well. You can wash it with salt, rewash it several times. Because this method, you're not going to be cooking it. So you remove the leaves. You don't need the steam. All you need is the leaf. All you need is the leaves. All you need is the leaf. Now remember something. I say when you are going to nine months or already in nine months, start taking this. It's very safe. When you Google the importance of this leaf health-wise, you realize that it's full of antioxidants and it's 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 a very rich source of vitamin C. Lots of nutrients can be gotten from this um, particular leaf. So when you remove the leaves after washing it thoroughly. All you need to do is squeeze it the way you would squeeze bitter leaf or ugu. Squeeze it, add water to it. Yes, add water to it and squeeze it. All you need is the juice. 
when you squeeze you can sieve it to so that you'll be able to drink it you understand now you take it lasting at night before you go to bed one glass cup is fine do this please remember do not take it at the early stage do this from going to nine months to into nine months i tell you it helps to make a labor fast you give birth without even before you know it pure you know this leaf is slippery before you know it once you just um, position yourself on the delivery um, table the baby will just say meow baby welcome easily you understand by the grace of god so another method you can another method you can prepare it to take when pregnant still when you are towards um point of delivery you understand is there's what we call them um, locust beans the Yorubas call it um iru what is known as locust beans iru all you need to do is get this um jute leaf remove the leaves remove the leaves and then use it to cook what they call them um, a wedu. add a little local beans locust beans sorry do not add salt do not add salt just the um jute leaf and the iru locust beans then you eat it like soup just be eating it be taking it now remember this method the first method whereby you don't need to boil it because this one with iru and the jute leaf you will cook it boil it you understand then add the hair but the first method where you don't need to boil it is more effective but this method also where you have to boil it with locust beans is also okay it's also effective but the first method is more effective now okay i know some people will be wondering but this is a soup that people eat every day even um pregnant and women in their one month two months three months eat it and they are fine yes they eat it they are fine remember they add salt they had them um, other um there's um how they used to prepare it they add what we call them um, cow potash and all that you understand so there is some add it with eat it with stew so all that would have um lower down the strength you understand it's very safe in pregnancy any month when you are eating it as soup you understand now it's also safe eh even in the early stage but it's better for someone just to be on a safer side not to take it in the first two three four five months you understand until towards delivery eight months ending to nine months ending and all that start taking it once in a while now if you're taking it towards and that nine months eight uh, nine months you understand you can take it like three times in a week three times in a week i tell you by the grace of god by the time you enter the delivery room you find out that it's faster if you have not been taking it in your previous or pregnancies for example by the time you take it in your next pregnancy you realize that wow this particular one is faster compared to it's very very good try it if you are pregnant thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate you it's not another person but glow world exceptional thank you